Um, I don't know how much you guys know about, know already about duck sex. If you have any remaining questions after, I'll be here. Um, I used to work at this farm camp, and at the beginning of one summer at farm camp, Jenna, who worked full-time at the farm, she brought me this baby duckling that somebody had found wild in the woods. Probably a fox had, like, gotten the mother, and she, it was just hatched to fit in the palm of my hand. And she said, here, do you want this duckling for the summer? You and your kids can take care of it, like, as a pet. Because I had the youngest campers. They were five years old. Um, so we took the duck. We named him Ping after the picture book. And we kept Ping in a glass tank with a heat lamp. And as he got bigger, we would take him out and let the kids hold him. And as he got even more bigger, we started to take him out on adventures with us. We would carry him in a basket with a cloth over his head like he was a 19th century baroness in a sedan chair, just keeping the sun off. And then eventually Ping started walking with us and Ping actually imprinted. So he thought that we were the mother and he followed us. So it was me, a line of 10 singing kids and a duck waddling at the end of the line. I know, you could just puke. It was sound and music with quacking. There were other animals on the farm. There were sheep, pigs, chickens, a cow named T-Bone. There were goats. There were these other ducks, um, and the other ducks were all in um, a duck pen by the animal barn. They were mostly male ducks. There was only one female duck, but they had to take her out and bring her to an undisclosed location because all the male ducks would gang up on her, have their way, and peck the back of her head. So Jenna told me all about duck sex. Male ducks are very violent and aggressive and... Not to get too technical, but they have an enormous corkscrew-shaped penis. However, female ducks have evolved so that even if they are brutally assaulted by the male ducks, that they can choose to not be inseminated and not bear the offspring of their aggressors because they have evolved to have a vagina That is not one single canal, but is a house of mirrors escape room situation (laughs) with false passageways and clockwise stairs to nowhere. So if a female duck doesn't want to have this dude's babies, she will send his penis down the vagina corn maze to a dead-end cul-de-sac. It's like going to Ikea, like you're trying to get meatballs and you end up in a 240 square foot apartment replica with artificial succulents. Now, if the female duck does want to have offspring with that particular mate, she will relax the muscles and the penis will just follow the blinking light to the correct location. Can you imagine if the human body could do this? There's like ushers in there with name tags and lanyards like right this way, right this way, come right this way, close off the Northwest Passageway, we do not want to have this guy's baby. He's mean to his mother and he's a Patriots fan. So Ping grew, Ping grew up and he wasn't yellow and fluffy anymore, he was brown and white and then we were expecting his blue plume feather to come in, that's when they kind of are getting close to adulthood and you know it signifies that they're a male but the feather didn't come in and Jenna checked and Jenna confirmed we had made an assumption because of the patriarchy and whatever but Ping was not a male Ping was a female and that meant that at the end of the summer when Ping was grown and I had to leave and she would go into the duck pen that she was going to get gang banged I was not going to have that happen to my duck. I'm ready to put her in a 1910s bathing suit, conceal everything, cover the ankle, purity ring, stand in front of the duck pen with a shotgun like the dad in Footloose. I'm like, we are not going to have this happen, okay? Those fuckboys are not going to get their feathers all up in my baby. So at the end of the summer, we figured out what we could do. We set up a little roost for Ping inside the barn away from the duck pen. And during the day... 
the animal barn, they unlocked the door and she could range free. She could free range with the chickens. The duck, male ducks were confined over there. Ping was safe in there. I felt like I had done my duty. I had taken care of her. I was satisfied she was safe. She was gonna be untouched for the rest of time, unruffled. <laughs> so months later in the springtime, I got a text from Jenna. And I immediately got in my car, drove the hour to farm camp, ran across the grass, and there in the chicken coop was Ping and her four new black and yellow ducklings. It took a second for this to register, and then I realized what had happened. Somebody had knocked up my duck. <laughs> How this happened? She was supposed to be protected. Who touched her? But then I remembered what Jenna had said. If the female duck doesn't want to have the offspring, she won't. But if she chooses the mate, she'll let the insemination happen. Ping hadn't been assaulted. She was in love. I looked across the coop at her, and you might think that a duck can't look smug. Okay. But she just was radiating the essence of a woman who's expecting a diamond necklace for a push present. A push present is exactly what you think it is. Jenna explained, so Ping liked to roam, she was free range, and the male duck species that was in their pen, they were all domesticated, they had had their wings clipped, but Ping was a wild mallard, she could fly. So she would fly around in and out of the animal pens, visiting, and she must have taken a liking to one of the ducks in the pen. I put her in a convent, she busts out and breaks into the boy's dormitory. Not only does she lose her innocence, she caught feelings. How'd it happen? How'd he seduce her? What, he sweet talk her in long walks around the barnyard like son of a preacher man? Was there dirty talk? Quack, quack. Quack. Quack, quack. Was he a crooner? Al Green, Marvin Gaye, Michael Buble? Maybe she seduced him. Let's talk about sex. Drunk in love. Bring a bucket and a mop for this wet ass. Will you still love me tomorrow? After all I had done to protect her innocence, she had gone and liberated herself. And I was like, you know what? This is just like her. To have a secret affair and surprise everyone. She was really her own woman from start to finish. I was kind of proud. I tried to catch her eye to see if she knew me. She played it cool. Thank you. <laughs>